Hi gang and welcome to our third video in our Sign Seal Delivered series. Now this is my design team project for Line.Arrow for August and um, things are a little bit different this month with the challenges and the drawing and everything. So let me go over that real quick for you. If you want to get just one entry, well not just one entry, but one entry into the uh, drawing at the end of the month when you post anything anything at all just put hashtag challenge your art and you'll get an entry into the drawing if you use part of the sign seal delivered um, kit or add-on kit the add-on kit has uh, more um, coll uh, collage sheets to it this has more of the stamps and um, ephemera to it but uh, if you use either one or both then you get two entries into the uh, drawing or if you use a combination of your stash and some papers then and use the hashtag then you get two entries into the drawing well, if you use any of the line dot arrow papers make sure that you put on there kit papers and you know uh, stash or just kit papers because um, there's too many entries and I can't remember all the papers and stamps and stuff so if you don't let me know then you're only going to get one entry okay alright that's for that I think oh no the challenges uh, for this month we're not going to have freebies every week and a different challenge and a different challenge video every week from Natalie what we're going to do is for the whole month we're going to challenge you to make your own art out of the uh, kit papers and or your stash papers or you know kits that you own things like that just use like I said the hashtag challenge your art for the whole month for your posts and you'll get entered into the drawing and then next month we'll go back to our uh, freebies because I believe next month is a collaboration month and so here at Sweet Pea Papers uh, Facebook group and also at the line dot line dot arrow at the um uh-huh <laughs> okay we'll for, we'll re think that i uh remembered the name of my own group um junk journal tutorials and more facebook group there we go uh we'll have freebies from both of my groups and then we'll have freebies from uh savage art and two sisters jam and line dot arrow and nonstop paper crafts so you'll get freebies from six uh, Facebook groups and a drawing in six Facebook groups and that'll be next month during our collaboration month okay so let's get going back with what we were doing in our project for this month Oops. put in its spot so when we left off we had done this much and I think that looks great and what we're going to do now is we're going to fix some or affix some um, pockets slash uh, tucks and I'm not sure we might make them into a tuck to the backs of the envelopes now this one is a little too wide but I definitely want to make sure to get the flower in there so I'm going to trim this one just a little bit first before we put it on okay so that should be better yeah and I think I'm going to make pockets out of them. So I'm not sure with the tuck, with this opening and closing, you know, with, if that's going to be enough or not. Now, let's see. We did this in blue. Um, the flower is blue. Let's do this in red. No, let's do it in picket fence. No, I'm kidding. Wow, that was a lot of ink. Let's do the corners like we meant to do it that way, which we didn't. We, you know, me, myself, and I. Let's 
pretty early. So I'm going to have to remember to do the other one this way. You know, the one on the back of the other pocket. Okay, so now if I do it as a pocket, no, that's too tight to put it in. Let's glue it on three sides. Oh, look, that's the side with the seam on it. Huh. Maybe I'll come back and put, you know, we've got some ephemera. We've got lots of stamps. So. Really low in the background. I have station uh, 553 on Sirius XM. This is not a commercial. I'm just telling you what I'm listening to. And it's the uh, top 1000 of classic rock. And it's an awesome station. You hardly ever hear this same one twice. Same song twice. And I'm listening to Queen right now. <laughs> okay, so let's put this in the center. Or the approximate center. Make a pocket out of it. Man, I'm starving all of a sudden. Are you guys eating breakfast? I swear, every time I start making a video, you guys start eating breakfast. Okay, so there's that one done. And we're going to have to put a pocket or some other paper across the bottom here. But we don't have any scrap for that yet. All I've got are these two pieces. Which I guess I could use these. But I'm not wild about the text being sideways like that. We've got our things here so let's wait and see um, and we have to do we have to attach our red envelopes first and we'll probably have paper clips for that because we're going to need to make cards for all of these so uh, let's uh, wait to put our paper clip on here then we'll do this one on the back And I've put it opposite. I've put the red flowers on the... T oh, I can't do that. This is directional. Let's ink it in red. Let's try not to over ink it. Do the corn... Whoopsie. Okay, well. <laughs> I guess I should hold it a little bit better. These are right side up with the little plume on the right top and the little, um, it makes it look like a wall sconce. And that's the way I want it to look. <laughs> Too bad, so sad for you. This is the way I want it to look. Get our glue down here in the tip of the bottle. Just wait for that second bubble, air bubble. That's the air bubble from the uh, tip. Okay. And we'll make this the pocket this way. that one done and then we're still going to have the uh, red envelope and the um, decorations for it to do. So for the red envelopes before we put them on here we 
going to paper the fronts and cut um, windows in them. So this is the back. So we'll hold on to that. So let's paper each one of these and then we'll make the holes. That looks upside down. This looks right side up. Remember the window is going to cut into this. Now I'm going to cut the height first because the height's going to be the same for both. And then I'll cut the width of this one separately so that we can get it from here. I could do it now. I don't have to mark the length. Like I said, we're going to cut it from across here. This might give us a couple pockets for our, yeah it is. See that's going to give us the two pockets we need for the backs of the long brown envelopes. Cut the width of both of the envelopes. One from one side. Other from the other side. And we will ink them in blue. Isn't that fun? Red and blue, red and blue. <laughs> mark if not we'll erase it. I'll probably erase it anyway because I'm pretty sure the inking is not going to cover it. keep it as close to the edge for when we cut out the window. I think I'm going to do a circle window this time. So much for keeping the blue right at the very edge. the left. I don't know though. A circle would take out a lot of flowers where we could make a smaller rectangular one and leave this flower on. It's kind of funny how it came out exactly the same. Oh look at we could have had that.
of those little teeny threads coming off. Glue bottle. check which side the flap was on. Okay. So let's do a smaller square one instead of a circle one so that we can keep this flower. And I'm thinking I'm going to do this one or maybe just want to do this one for once. Just this little. I'm thinking just the little one. So we have to figure this out from the inside. done it like that and not wrinkled the paper so much. Okay, so I want it over here. Where's my little roll of, there it is. As usual, we're going to do this part off camera, but it is going to shake the camera. And sometimes it's a little noisy. this through at an angle to try to avoid the big thud. So it looks like we did, even though we're jiggling the table. Sorry about that. So let's open it up. And you're going to have the indentation on here, so we are going to have to paper it. Plus we need a magnet, so I guess we will have to paper it. And you can see that sometimes when you put the uh, washi tape on, it kind of sticks to it. Fortunately, it didn't stick inside here. So I'd like to use this as a tag. I think that would be kind of cool. There we go. Throw those two pieces away. 
now we have two tags, one red one and one colored one that we can use. Okay, so let's put the acetate in the window. This piece just happened to fit. ink it first. We'll need to ink it in blue. But I like the fact that we were able to save that flower. And we don't really have any picture pictures, um, you know, like of people or whatever. Um, I may get some of my uh, people out, or I may try to look online for some portraits or something. I think I have a couple of kits that have images as well that are just images of people I mean. Not that I need more papers. I have plenty of papers. Okay, just need peeps. <laughs> okay. I'll glue this all the way around. Get that little bit of glue off the tip there. We won't need to put any paper inside. Looks like I got a little glue on there. I think I did it when I closed it because it wasn't there before. I can do if I can get it real quick, I can get it with my fingernails sometimes. Some or all of it. Summer. <laughs> Some or all of it. Then we'll glue this back together. And then we'll go over and do the other one. And I'm only gluing where there was glue before. Then I think I'll put the magnet on so we don't forget. You can't really see it very well in the in the red with the pencil. Okay, so we'll put the magnet there. Technically all we would need is a pocket. So I should have put tape the other way. That way it wouldn't get caught on the magnet. But we'll see. We may just paper it. I do have some paper set aside for it. Darn, I think it's the same as the paper from the... Um... Oh, no it's not. No, it's not. So... Let's do the other one first while I think about the back of of this one. Okay. This one we needed on the outside edge. And the left 
left side because when we flip it over the flowers on the opposite side probably could have flipped the paper around and made it on the same side but I don't mind them being on opposites it's kind of fun and put this through again or not again but we'll use the crocodile again I mean the um, you know I'm talking about the big shot see I knew you knew what I was talking about these are extra nifty needle smart sorry about all the jiggling actually I'm not <laughs> I'm kidding <laughs> it does jiggle though when you use this you had to crank it through there this way which is right behind me I just turn around and set it down Now we have two more. Oopsie, a little bit of glue on there. There we go, that's still two. We got them almost the same because you can see because of the flowers that we cut off. So let's ink this one. bit crooked. The other one probably is too. It doesn't need to be super large inked, you know, like super wide. Just enough to um, highlight the edge. Now this one I'm going to have to cut because I don't have a super small piece so I am going to have to let me put this away before I lose it I am going to have to cut it from one of these two larger pieces I don't know if you can see it or not okay so I'll save this piece for a square window. Paper clip them together. The paper clip even on just one piece makes it easier to find your piece of acetate. Paper clip two together, then you're just kind of smart. <laughs> Except for now, I don't know where I put the other piece. I know I laid it down. There it is. Make sure we get our fuzzies and everything off. Oh, that's the mark. Doesn't matter. Okay, we're going to glue it on. Then we'll close up the envelope and put the magnet on. I have extra space on this one.
glue it back shut just gluing where the glue mark was we don't have to glue up any farther or any lower you don't have to put a bunch of glue either because we're going to paper it you're going to put the magnet on So remember that's going to give us um, four magnets on the back of the paper. So we'll have two magnets for these and we will have um, a magnet for the narrow ones as well. This one I'm going to go ahead and put the tape this way so I don't need to do a second one. Okay, so now we've got our papers for the back. I'm going to go ahead and paper them. Oh, we have to um, trim these four pockets. Forgot about that. Remember, we don't have to paper them inside. We're just going to use the red. like that on there. I'm doing separate just because the envelopes may be just a little bit different. Ow! That was my knee in case you're wondering. A steamer trunk underneath my uh, desk. It holds, uh, I believe I have Afghans in there. So I stood it up under there out of the way, I thought. Then I'm on my stool, and I was over close to the trimmer, which is way over. I moved it because of the putting the crocodile in there. And uh, whammo. Whammed my knee. <laughs> I guess I could have used this side. I like this side better. try to make hidden pockets on the back side out of these two pieces. On the backs of the envelopes. That would be kind of fun. A 
doesn't really matter. Uh oh. It does matter on this one. You're going to see that little bit of blue because it's on the opposite side of the envelope. And I don't have any. Well, I do, actually. You'll see it as well. So you're going to see that little red line, but it's much better than seeing the blue on this side. Okay, so we fixed that, sort of, kind of. If you just glance at it, you probably won't see it. Okay, so on the back side. We don't have to actively try to make it line exactly up. There's just such a repeating pattern that we can make it look close and it will give the illusion of being a hidden pocket. How do you like that? The illusion of the illusion of a pocket. can't believe I didn't put that paper on upside down. If I had put it on upside down, the flower would have been on the other side and it would have cut out correctly without having to worry about the back. So that was my mistake. In just a second, I'll show you what I mean. Then the papers wouldn't have matched but the window would have been on the right, the correct side.
Okay, now see this is all red because this opening, the opening here in the envelope, <coughs> is under this flower. So if I had, instead of doing this, if I had to cut out over here by flipping the paper so that the flower was here and the window was here, we would have been fine. But I wanted to do going to be mm -hmm. okay now we're going to um, get this back out let's put our pockets on the front so we don't forget Oh, we need to put the pockets on the back of these. Let's do that first. Let's see at the bottom, too. I didn't put it up far enough. Darn it. And I could have I could even do this. Hmm. Do I like this? Or do I like this? Kinda like this. Let's cut the other one into side. We're doing this one from this side because we don't want this seam on there. Because we can't have it on both. I know, matchy matchy. That should be my nickname instead of Techie Terry. It should be matchy matchy, huh? kind of like that better. I'll tell you why. Because this has that um, variation. Oh, that one does too. No, I still like this better. So we did the same on the red ones. We did the same type of pocket on the craft ones, but we did the exact same paper and everything on the red ones. So that's the difference. So now we're going to put our Sharpie away where it belongs. And then we're going to put these pockets on with the text right side up. Hopefully the text is really small for my reading glasses even. Of course, it's a little teeny bit narrow. Let's 
slide it like this and make it look like we meant to have a border. We'll pull it up a little from the bottom. Just a smidge, I mean a slice. Too small. That's okay. We fixed it. Once again, me, myself, and I fixed it. We. I'm royalty, you know, that's why I say it that way. And this one isn't really too small, but we'll kind of make it look that way. We'll lift it up from the bottom a little bit so it matches the other one. We're going to put the pockets on the fronts of this one. We're going to do it where we get the flower. So we're going to cut it here. We're going to cut it here. Yeah, I don't have enough for both, or I would put. Oh, wait. Oh, that's different. And I do want them to be the same because they're on the fronts of the envelopes. And it's the top, it's the cover of the book. So I do want them to be the same. So we're going to ink this in blue. look at our left and our right on this. So we want to do it this way. dings all at once, wasn't it? I want to show the craft with the red on the bottom. Okay. That on this side. should have left the bottle laying on its side. I wouldn't have had to wait very much for that bubble. 
and I'll glue lift lift. I'll fill up my glue bottle before the next video. Okay, so now we're going to take this. Did I do them opposite? I did. Okay, this one's going to have to go on this one. I'm going to slide it in and do it that way. And this one's going to have to go on this one. And slide it in. And then we'll put some ephemera on them later. Or I will. Or maybe we will. So we're going to glue this. Even though it says right, we're gluing it on the left. And we're gluing it inside the pocket. And we're gluing it to the front side. Okay? And I don't want them in the same, so I want one towards the top and one towards the bottom. this one towards the bottom and remember we've got four magnets to put on So we'll have a pocket here and a pocket here on both. Okay. And we're going to add these. We might should have put the mark magnet for these on here. still put it underneath the um and we're going to put this on here You want them to be even, so they're even on the top, even on the bottom. Well, there's a teeny, tiny gap, but... And then this is going to come down. You're going to have your pocket here. Okay. Then your this will come down, and I don't know what we're going to do with that. We might end up putting a, uh, a uh, hook and loop closure on that. I'm not sure... But I think these will hold it down enough that it coming open when you finally open the inside will be fine. But 
But even putting more on here, more and more and more and more, we could have done that. Would have made it a little top heavy, I think. Um, I've done it before, made it top heavy and didn't care. But on this particular one, I think we'll just leave this as the topper and say we're done with it. Okay, so now we want to put this on here even. goes like this. Oh no, I don't want that. I don't want that at all. Can I still take it off? That looks awful. We'll put something else at the bottom. It's fine on this one but I'm still going to take it off if I can. And we'll do a different pocket with different paper. We still have to put cards in, so we still have to work on this, so it's okay. You know what I mean? Because that looked terrible matching up with that and that. Okay, so that's all we're going to do for this video. And um, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. And um, I'll see you then. All right. Bye-bye.